It's very common for us to take all the pennies that we get for granted. From leaving them in the shopping bag to having all of them scattered around the house, pennies are the least valuable form of American currency, and you can find them almost anywhere. There's a real reason why this happens. It takes more than a penny to manufacture a penny, so it's no surprise that people started to make different projects with the spare pennies that they get. Usually there's little penny houses and other small ornaments, but this DIY artist took it to a whole new level. She started with throwing into the floor thousands upon thousands of pennies right onto her living room floor. She said no more. There's time to take all those pennies she had from collecting them to use. She started thinking what she could do to make the pennies life worth a little more and she came up with the idea that shocked everyone from the beginning to end. The woman's name is Tanya Tuners and she's a DIY enthusiast. She decided to report her project development in Imgur where people were delighted watching all the progress. She decided to start gathering all the copper pennies she could and decided to make them into a lovely floor design that would make her living room pop up from the rest. The number of pennies that she gathered turned out to be more than she ever thought she would. In total there were 13,000 pennies which is also $130 worth. All other materials involved 10 bottles of Elmer's glue, grout that she found in her basement and the only expensive item epoxy which cost 150 bucks. She also used a tub of wood filler and some pieces of wood. All we can say about the fantastic project is that it turned out to be worth every penny. At the beginning Tanya started by measuring the floor she was going to change and marking the precise center of the room. Then she drew an access to use as a guide and started gluing pennies in the form of a diamond. Then she needed to wait for everything to dry to start putting the other pennies without losing all the previous work. When you see Tanya's finished work you can see how much effort and hard work she put into the DIY project. The result is entirely flawless and seems like one of the most original things we've ever seen. How did she have the idea to come up with this? It's truly astonishing and something that needs to be preserved. Tanya started slow sorting all the pennies before starting. Just that part of the project was super tough according to her. The two different types of pennies were classified in a big silver bowl which was the darker ones. The other ones were shiny. She used every one of them. Talk about attention to detail. Tanya's the smart woman she is had some tricks up her sleeve to make the project seem more professional. At one point she started to notice that there were not going to be enough dark pennies and she was well on her way. She was not about to stop. So she went to the store and bought some liver of sulfur to turn them into a blue purple black color. She then had to sort all the pennies again checking that the color matched the original ones. When she was almost done and started working on the final corner of the room the whole project was beginning to come together as the fantastic result it turned out to be. We can't even start to think how exhausted she was. After having all the pennies finally in place Tanya was able to add the finishing layer of epoxy. The final segment put the cherry on top of this project. Now it looks shiny and was a very soothing floor to walk on. She wasn't only careful with the epoxy but she kept in mind to alternate between the heads and tails of each penny so that it would have a pattern that was a very nice visual contrast. This was the task that required more focus but it was completely worth it. You can see the pennies alternate between heads and tails and all faced in the same direction because I'm crazy and hate myself, Tanya jokes. She may be a perfectionist but she really ought to be proud of herself for her magnificent work. There are no limits to what we can do when we put the creative light bulb on. Maybe this floor will start a new trend in interior design.